What's up guys, main man Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always, and welcome to a basic guide on Fakumram. He's only been with us for about a week, I think exactly, so I'm still trying to figure him out, I'm trying to master him, he's my new main. But for those of you trying him out right now, I, I thought I could just go through the basics so it's quicker for you to figure him out. So who is Fakumram? Well, as you can see, he's a pretty fucking intimidating Muay Thai fighter. I mean, you see how fucking... You probably notice how big he is. And this, of course, his size ties into his gameplay. You have a lot of range, long limbs, uh, standing free here, as you can see, it's a pretty long range. 13 frame poke. But even better is that due to his long legs and size, he has a huge backdash. So if you're really good at Korean backdash, holy shit, the distance you cover very quickly. Top three backdashes in the game is Fakumram, I think. Very few people can retreat as quickly. So if you don't have a good Korean backdash and you're looking at, you know, Fakumram, you know, I want to pick up that guy, do work your backdash because uh, it's really going to be handy with him. Especially as, as with Marduk, Gigas, a lot of these large characters, he chokes a bit under pressure up close if people get in on him. So get, having a good backdash to get out of shit, you know, is uh, great indeed. And the range, of course, of his limb, the range is crazy due to his long limbs. Uh, normal jab, long range, down for one, standing free, down for four. Um, it, this also helps a lot in his punishment, you know, 10 frame punish, jab, one four. It's just, it's just his punishment has a lot of range due to how big he is. So again, this is a great strength. Uh, and some of his trademarks of, are of course the cancels and the guard breaks. You know, it feels like almost everything can be cancelled. Um, he has uh, so many moves that can go into all kinds of different options that all can be cancelled. Downford 1 can go into down, uh, Downford 1 4. Downford 1 4 can be cancelled into an elbow. It can be cancelled into a hell sweep. His homing, Ford Ford 4, has the same types of cancels. Um, 1 2 4 4. 1 2 4 3 4. You know, it's just, it, it just never ends. He has so many cancels. Uh, and it's uh, so very mix-up heavy, really stresses the opponent's defense. And what can stress it more than guard breaks? Again, that's on hit. But if he guards, we of course get a guaranteed wall splat. That does no damage, but you, you've seen this before. Uh, can really, really stress the opponent. And he has enormous damage. So I'm gonna give you guys an extreme example, but just to show quickly what the, uh, what the potential is. So I'm gonna jump back three times and not do that. D charge. So that's of course an example of me getting a counter hit while in rage and uh, utilizing a wall. But uh, yeah, I just want to stress that uh, his damage potential is enormous. Uh, oh. I'll do something more basic here. Uh, a lot of damage. Uh, so, I mean, I think that's, uh, in short, uh, basically what his uh, strengths are and uh, how you play Fakumram. And in terms of weaknesses, again, he chokes a bit under pressure. His panic buttons aren't very strong, although he has a... Um, uh, in back three, it's like uh, Paul's quarter circle back four. It's a pretty good keep out tool. Uh, and down two is an interesting panic button in that it's a 12 frame dick jab, but it's an elbow, so it can't be low parried. That's gonna come in handy in high level play. But his parries aren't very strong. He has a kick parry, he has a punch parry, and the, on the punch parry, the parry window is very, very small. 
So you have to be very precise in how you use it. And so parries, in my opinion, mm, I might use them more in the future, but right now, mm, they don't seem very strong. But so let's progress, and let's go for the punishment. 10 frame, 1, 4, great range, 16 plus frames, and wall splat. Really, really good 10 frame. 12 frame, you can do 4 to 1, 33 damage, and if they don't backroll that knockdown, you get a guaranteed 4 to 4 to 1 plus 2 for huge damage. But I think most people will be holding back there. Uh, for 12 frame, you can also do 4 free if you don't want to knock down. 30 damage and plus 6. Here you can also do a sneaky mix up in doing 4 free charge 4. And hope that hits. And do remember that if they guard that, that knee, you get a guaranteed down 4. But of course, this 12 frame punish can be disgusting at the wall as you can be mixing them up like that. But just know that you can do that on his 12 frame punish. You can go into mix ups. Um, and for 14 frame, we have back one. This is a very long range mid 14 frame punish that gives a guaranteed 4 4 2 1 for 49 damage. So again, he has really good punishment. Imagine blocking, this can punish Yashi's 4 4 2 at times. Imagine blocking Jax down for 2 from far away and just back 1 into this. 49 damage, easy to do. It's, it's a really good punish. And then 15 frames down for 2 free is your long range uh, 15 frame mid launcher. For big damage. Uh, yeah, it, it doesn't have as much range as it had in his reveal trailer, but it, it does have a lot of range. Uh, so that's for standing punishment. Uh, while standing, you have while standing 4 for 11. It's like kings and armor kings, 20 damage. Uh, pretty long range. Pretty long range, uh, plus 5. Uh, 13 frame, you have while standing 1-2. Uh, 32 damage, knockdown. Uh, this one is hit confirmable, fully hit confirmable. If you have fast reflexes, you can see this obviously doesn't apply for punishment, but if you want to do his full crouch mix up with Hell Sweep and uh, while sending one too, you can actually react to it hitting and then input the, 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 the elbow, uh, the second elbow, sorry. So fully hit confirmable, really good. And while sending freeze is 15 frame while sending launch punish. Great punishment. Uh, for whiff punish, I feel down for two free works good. I usually try and sidestep and use that. It's really good from sidestep. Um, but other whiff punish than that, back one, I guess. Um, but other than that, yeah, I, I don't think you'll be using this. Forward, forward, one plus two. Maybe if they're doing something really stupid from far away, you'll use that, but it's minus 14. Oh, back one is minus 15, by the way. You don't want to have that blocked. But most people won't launch it due to how new the character is. Most people don't know the matchup. So, let's look at his poking. Again, long range on his jab. He has a 1-2-1-4 one, one, string. And this, is, this string is better than you think. You just mash it out like this. You'll always put yourself at minus 11. But do note, note that you can do 1-2... And then you can delay the one and if that uh, and that's completely safe by the way minus six and if you catch them off guard they press a button and the one counter hits you'll get that uh. and here you can actually hit confirm the last hit oh Can hit confirm that. Uh, so that's a really good string. And of course, you have all kinds of mix ups. You have 1, 2, 4, 4. Uh, well, 4, 4 on its own. You know, magic 4 is pretty good. Long range. Uh, he has a good magic 4. Uh, but again, to get it to do the combo, you have to do 4, 3, 4. 
this string here. Minus five on block. They can interrupt you in between. Uh, God, I'm, I'm, I'm really doing this quickly now. But again, jab, good, long range. One, two, four, four. One, two, four, mix-ups. Can charge here. Uh, one, two, one, again, delay. Counter hit, hit confirm. Really strong. Um, he's down for the one. 13 frames, very long range. Plus eight on hit, minus three on block. Has got really interesting mix-ups. You can do a mid-high, down for one, two. This is a natural combo. Obviously, they can duck the high, but that's where you have down for one, four, not a natural combo, minus 13. But this is where he has crazy cancels. You can do one, this, minus three, to try and catch them ducking, down for one, two, one. You can also do Hell Sweep from his downward one. That's downward one, four, three, two. So that's a fake out on his downward one, four. And if this mix up wasn't crazy enough, you can again cancel the Hell Sweep. <laughs> oh, sorry. Downward one, four, one. Looks like you're gonna Hell Sweep. Eesh, elbow. This elbow on block is neutral and forces crouch. Jab uninterruptible. Well, unless they do a dick jab. But yeah, dick jabs are very risky. Uh, so yeah, just crazy cancels and mix-up potential from his down forward one, which is a universal, you know, key utility in Tekken. And again, his down forward one has a lot of range. So th this is really excellent and interesting. Not a lot of characters can do all of this from a simple downford one. And I also want to note that his downford one two, should the second hit counter hit, he gets a, a full juggle. It's a, it's a pretty tricky dash in the bow. Uh, and then he's standing free, 13 frame. This is a very impo important poke for him because it's it's a long range fast mid. Uh, I mean, note the range, uh, 13 frames. Minus six on block, plus five on hit. This also sets up crazy mix ups. Um, if you do three, four, four, plus six homing launcher, normal hit launcher. That's plus six on block. Uh, if you want to duck, you have three, four. Sorry, three, four. 49 damage. That's not safe on block, though. That's minus 12. And of course, we have our charge up. Three, four, hold three. So again, standing free. You have some crazy mix-ups. Uh, down for four. He has a, a Dragon of Style. Down for four free. Natural combo. 35 damage. Wall splat. Very long range. But they can duck the second hit. So here you have a mix-up. Mash free. Plus one. And if it hits. 36 damage. And um, again, he, ha he, had a, he has a magic 4, as I said. Do 4-3-4, four, four, preferably. And for low pokes, you have uh, down for 3, which is minus 12. But as you can see, minus 1 on hit, and minus 12 uh, on block. And this is usually the one, it, it has really long range. It's just that this character is very unsafe when it comes to his lows. So down for three is your go-to because it's minus 12. But yeah, again, you're at a disadvantage on hit. As soon as you want better frames uh, on your lows, you're taking risks. Like down back four, plus five. So it's like Brian's uh, hatchet kick, but it doesn't do anything special on counter it. Still just plus five, slightly more damage, but it's minus 14 on block. Now that's really bad. You, you, you'll get really punished. Down four is a super fast chunky low. 14 frames in speed. Um, 18 damage. Minus five 
on hit, but if you get a counter hit, this hurts like hell. 21 damage and plus 10. But this is launch punishable. It's minus 16. Uh, you can hell sweep from standing with forward, forward, four, three, two. Like so. 32 damage. This is a homing hell sweep. Fully tracking, as hell sweeps are these days. But again, launch punishable. Uh, so yeah, with the lows, often you're taking risks. Uh, down for three is minus one on a hit. Uh, and po again, in terms of pokes, down two is very interesting. 12 frame, uh, special mid dick jab, but it's not low parryable. Uh, so now we're going to get to the very interesting stuff, his space control, so that's shutting down movement. Due to his long range, you, you know, you can shut down back dashes and sidesteps with his signature move, back forward forward. Which is one of the absolute most satisfying moves in the game, if not the most satisfying. Uh, launcher on normal hit for huge damage. If they block this, plus 6 on block. Again, note the range on this move. I'm gonna jump back from the starting position. So again, enormous range, shutting down back dashes, and this move is home. They can't sidestep it. All you can do is duck. So this, of course, sets sets up mind games in that, mm, you better duck. And do we have dangerous mids for people ducking? Absolutely. But again, I just want to stress, you know, how how powerful this tool is and the mind games it creates. Uh, so just mixing back forward four with while running free, plus six, plus nine. Again, while running free, you know, plus nine. <laughs> yeah, go fuck yourself, Dragonov, with your plus six. And again, it's very steppable. But again, the mind games, if it, you know, if it sidestep, this is homing. This, these two moves alone in conjunction. It's uh, and forward, forward, three plus five. Again, very steppable. Each. Uh, so yeah. Uh, in terms of space control and good frames, uh, while running three, back forward four. Forward, forward, free uh, are very interesting moves. Uh, it is worth pointing out uh, already here that uh, if you do, uh, I'm gonna set him to back guard and then back dash because that's what people usually do after back forward four, and that will make your long range standing free with. Because here I like to set up mix ups with this, you know, all plus six. Plus six, unless they duck, which is what I want them to do to set up uh, chunky fucking mids. Um, so if they backdash there to get away from down for four, standing free, pretty much everything, again, while running free is your friend. As I explained, you know, plus nine. Shuts down backdashing. And so, yeah, that's um, very good to have. Um, mm -mm. Uh, and let's continue just with homing moves. Uh, people sidestepping again, back forward four, but for a mid, you have forward forward four, which can be cancelled into hell sweep again, or the elbow of death. Forward forward four one, which looks like you're doing a hell sweep, right? It's the same kind of spin. So th this mix-up is very powerful. Uh, back free. Again, like Paul's core circle back four. Uh, very strong move. I mean, you do note for damage. Like, uh, very fast. 16 frame homing. 
Minus seven on block. Great keep out tool. Great move. And of course, Hell Sweep is good for space control as it is homing. Cannot be stepped. But, but you take a big risk. You take a big risk. But so yeah, uh, overall, uh, you've seen some good pokes. Uh, and in terms of mind games, this move is key to, to a lot of his mind games due to what, how it shuts down spacing. Uh, so just try and play around those frames. With back forward 4, while running 3, free 4-4, free four four. again if they don't duck, plus 6. Plus 6, plus 6, plus 5, plus 6, plus 5, oh shit, plus 9, you know. So of course all of these come at a risk, you know. This one here they can duck, while running 3 can be stepped, back forward 4 can be ducked. So if your opponent has a has a good read on you, you're taking huge risks because back forward four on whiff. You see how slowly he recovers. So this is what's fair about Fakum Ram and that and that people think you know his mix ups are absolutely crazy. They are, but does he leave himself open? Absolutely. But if a Fakum Ram player has good reads on you, super oppressive. So again, play around with these mix-ups, the charge-ups, all of these in conjunction. Uh, it's all of these, these cancels he has, the strings and the guard breaks, all of that combined uh, just stresses the shit out of the opponent and hopefully forcing them to press buttons so we can counter hit them or making mistakes. Uh, it's also worth noting that um, a, a good mid uh, to use, um, you know, to catch the opponent ducking is 3 plus 4. It's minus 9 on block, doesn't have a lot of pushback, but it's a pseudo Brian 3 plus 4. Knocks down a normal hit, will wall splat. When you're pressuring next to the wall, this is really good. Boom, boom, please duck. And he ducks. Uh, as it's safe. And if you get a counter hit, it, it just gives you enormous damage. Enormous damage. Uh, so 3 4 is a good mid. Forward 1 plus 2 is also a really good mid. Again. We want to catch from ducking. It's only it's minus seven on block, but big damage uh, uh, wall bounce. Oops. Uh, I don't know what you do up close, but uh, that, that's a good mid to use. Um, but I just I hope you guys understand the, the basic mix-ups now at least uh, And launchers again down for two free works really good from a sidestep um, It is minus 12 on block. No, sorry minus 11 uh, The second hit is high you can mix up here with down for two one this is minus 13, forces crouch, so Kalsia can twin piston this. But well, it's good to catch people who want to dock the, the second hit of down for 2-3. Uh, back, for, back forward 4, of course. Uh, again, we mentioned counter it 3 plus 4. We've mentioned counter it back 3, which is an excellent homing, launch, uh, homing uh, la launching tool, that's high. Uh, evasive launcher in sidestep 4. This is also punishable at minus 13, but it's very fast, comes out at 15 frames. But again, you can do staff down for 2-3. Um, let's see, and we have, while, while standing 3 we mentioned, and then the charge launchers, back to hold 1, of course. Uh, and we have 3-4-3 three, three. on hit again. You can always do the same combo. Uh, and of course, the knee. 
where you can do a, a unique combo, but it's very unreliable, but it's, it's max damage. Up for four, while stunning three. Uh, it's very unreliable. Uh, you should just go for the basic. Up for four. Like so. Um, a wall pressure, pretty much what, what, what I got just showed you guys. Um, back forward four is almost key, always key to setting up his mind games. Down forward four <laughs> mix ups, uh, standing three, uh, oh, back two three, high low. It's a good, good poke. You can cancel that, back to one. Uh, it's absurd wall throw with a 14 frame break window but it's going to get nerfed they are going to fix that but it's still going to be a 40 damage wall splatting throw and dear god you know if your opponent has rage and you don't break that throw yeah yeah and uh, so the wall pressure is just as you can see, with all of those cancels, guard breaks, it's pretty fucking insane. And again, full crouch makes up. Hit confirm while standing one into two. You can hell sweep. You can do down two. Take jab, obviously. Uh, or you can for big damage to while standing free to hope to get a launch. But that's minus 13 on block. Uh, and in terms of combos, I usually always do... Let's see. Almost always back one. Uh, oh, sorry. back one. Down forward one to one. Three, mash four. And down forward one, four, three, two. Uh, big damage and very long wall travel. And in terms of enders, uh, if a wall is nearby, you'll just do back one, like so. Uh, if you don't have space to do the, the lo longest ender, you can do four, two, one. I mean, it's just depending on the wall. So back one, wall is close, wall is slightly far away, forward two, one, uh, whatever he does. And if a wall is super far away, again, down forward one into uh, L suite. Yeah, those are your best options. You can also limit the wall travel by doing back three there instead of three four four. Uh, as all of that is worth taking note. Forward forward one plus two, you don't follow with back one. You get more damage from up forward four, and then just do your normal combo basically. Uh, and those are. The Jugals. Uh, oh, Magic 4. So, 4 3 4, 4 3 4, 3 4 4, down for 1, 4 3 2. That's your, that's your combo. Um. So that's a super badass combo, but it's very unreliable, but it looks sexy as fuck if you get it. Um, if you do catch an opponent uh, back turned, uh, you can actually combo forward 3 to one uh, in, into a bound bear, as you can see. It's slightly specific. That's all guaranteed uh, for big damage. Uh, so, th th this is my basic introduction, basic guide on Fakum Ram. As I get better with the character, I will be making a more fleshed out guide. But I hope this serves as a good starter pack for those of you uh, interested in picking picking him up so you can just see the very basics in this video and what makes him tick um, so ju just to again summarize his weaknesses he's a little bit sluggish uh, in a lot of his moves takes a little while to get going uh, 
he relies a lot on lows and highs. His mids aren't as fantastic, in my opinion. Um, he's very punishable on a lot of moves. As soon as you want to gain frames on hit, he gets very punishable. He collapses a bit under pressure, but so does many giant characters. That if you just pressure them, uh, we don't really have good panic buttons. Uh, and his charge-ups and cancels, as amazing as they are, they are going to be very difficult to pull off in high-level play just because of how linear they are, these charge-ups. Just sidestep and they, you know, you, uh, they have no tracking whatsoever. And strong players are going to see these charge-ups. So in Vienna, I think he's going to be a bit gimmicky, but it certainly helps with a strong backdash, strong punishment, and the mix-up variety is good. Um, great range. So, uh, yeah, I'm hoping we see uh, Fakum Ram in tournaments, as he's very hype. Uh, so thank you all very much for listening to me, and I hope this video helps you. Take care.